I want to kind of slide sideways because I do want to come back to Facebook and I do want to talk about small form, big mm -hmm. form because you do film and then you do theater. I want to go back there. But I want to keep on the, the dance idea because the intrigue about partly of your trajectory is you went to the National Ballet School when you were, what, nine years old or something? Ten. What was it about European classical ballet put through a sieve of Canadian companies' point of view that brought a kid from Saskatchewan? Precociousness. Meaning? I was a precocious kid and they said, do you want to come to the school? I was like, sure. I had no... You know, so they if they said hockey camp, you would have done hockey? 100%. I had no. You're not serious. I'm 100 percent serious. I had no. For years, I would say this could have been the NBS, the National Badminton School. It was just what we did. It's just what you did. Like when you went to school, it was like you lined up outside your classroom. It's just what you did. You didn't go. Why are we lining up outside the classroom like this? What was the National Ballet of Canada, Michael? That's not just you know. Madam Smith's little ballet class Thursday afternoons at four. Oh, yeah, it's no, the National Ballet of Canada. So what? Well, it's the National Ballet School. Yeah, right. Um, the company's a different thing, but the National Ballet School is a serious place. And I was there doing serious work. But it wasn't probably until I was maybe in grade 11 that I was like, hey, I like this. I really like this. I, I would tell people this is not a joke. I would tell people when I was in high school there, and I'd been at the school already for like five years, I'd say, uh, I'm not a dancer. I'm an actor playing a dancer in a durational performance piece that, that I've, I've created for myself here at this, at this institution. And people would look at me like, what is this kid talking about? <laughs> um, it's astounding what you do when everybody else does it. So like, you're was not going to give me any romantic heebie-jeebies that the artist in me was feeling his way forward and... I was a punk. <laughs> I, was just doing, I was just doing what everyone was doing. Like, no, I'm sorry. Everyone wasn't having their family move to Toronto from Saskatchewan and put their child in the National Ballet School of Canada. I'm sorry, they weren't. This was pretty exceptional stuff. Well, that's my parents. I mean, are, you well, are you talking about me? Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it's exceptional. And you, of course it is. So there you're saying your parents drive to support Michael's precocity precociveness, uh -huh. they love their son to that extent, they thought, if this kid wants to go to the National Ballet School of Canada, we will move. Yeah. Wow. But you know that's a much more complicated yes. story than that. Yes, probably, yes. You know that as, as my parents were both in residential school, and they said, we'd like to take your child to a school in Toronto, what would you do? Right. Um, let's send them. Let's, let's stay here in our comfort and send our child to a place that we know very little about and see what, ha see what the system does to him. That's insane. They'd never do that. It is, but still the extraordinary act of your parents who didn't say, Michael, wake up. It's a school in Toronto. We like living here. I'm sure there's a ballet school we can find on Thursday afternoons here. The extraordinary parents who said, no, this child has to be supported in this drive. Yeah, they said, we give it a year. They'd say, let's go out there for you. Let's see what, see what it's like. And they, they asked me, did you like it? I was like, yeah, I'm having fun. But you well, said it took five years at the school before you discovered you actually I mean, like dancing. But it doesn't mean I'm not having fun. Yeah. Like I, I, I like the school. I like I like the students. I like the energy. I like being in the school. I just didn't like dancing until, uh, as a vocation. Until I was a much older kid.